Hey everybody. Howdy, howdy. I've got some tiles that I've poured and I've got um, some resin I'm going to mix up. And I'm just going to real quickly show you how I do that. But I taped off all my tiles on the back side with frog tape, which is this green tape, which is fabulous. Because like these have fingerprints all underneath. They're really, really messy underneath. So it'll make my life much easier after the resin dries overnight. I can just peel the tape off the back and I won't have all those drips that are dried on the resin from the resin. So you need two containers and you need to pour exact amounts. And I'm going to mix, I believe about 24 ounces. So I need 12 ounces each of part A and part B. This is Famo Wood Glaze Coat Resin. So I'm going to pour, open up and pour 12 ounces into the container. And I'm probably going to have more resin than I need, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. And with Famo Wood, you have to stir for six minutes, transfer it to the next container, and stir for six minutes again. So I'll be doing that, and I'm not going to have you watch the whole mixing process. I'm just going to show you how uh, first get it going. There's, there's a little seal inside. So now I'm just going to bring this up to 24 ounces on my measurements. And make sure you have open windows, good ventilation, that kind of thing. Make sure you have a dust-free, pet-free, hair-free environment, and so forth. And I'm going to stir this for six minutes, then transfer it to the other container and stir for another six minutes. This is for Famo Wood Glaze Coat Resin. Some resins have different stirring times. Just make sure to read the directions very carefully. Always make sure to go around the edges of your container as you're mixing. And the cool thing about Fama Wood is when it starts warming up in the second phase, when you mix after six minutes, it'll start to heat up and then you'll know it's, it's activating itself. And I'll probably have a, a craft stick too. And I'm just gonna basically worry about covering the surface Maybe the sides, I'm not sure. The top part is my biggest concern. So, I'm going to stop the video and I'll be back when the resin is totally mixed up and I'll show you how I put it on the tiles. So, I'm in my last minute of stirring, I can touch the container and it's starting to feel warm, so I know that it's doing its thing. It's having its chemical reaction. There's going to be lots of bubbles, so you'll need a torch or a heat gun. I've got my heat gun here. Again, it's Fama Wood Glaze Coat Art Resin. And it's a two-part system, just like any other kind of resin. You have to add the, uh, the part A and B together to get the chemical reaction of the, the resin to do its thing. I'm going to put it into a smaller cup so I can control it better instead of this larger container. I've got my, uh, my craft stick and I've got my comb to spread the resin. So it's really pretty much about ready, I do believe. So I'm going to stop stirring. And I'm going to go ahead and pour. So I'm in a cup where I can control it just easier with a smaller amount. I'm going to start on these down here because they, they aren't as important as these are and I want to just make sure that I can kind of get it right. So I'm going to pour an amount out to see how much I need for each one. And 
then I'm going to take the comb and just, or I could just pick them up and spread it. And that's why you do wear gloves because resin is messy. And I am not a, an expert on resin for sure. So I've got it, I think, pretty even. So I'm just going around the sides just to make sure. I do see some low spots, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'll just kind of drag that out. I've got too much on that one, so I'll pour some onto this one. See, this is a this is something where it just takes lots of practice to get something like this down pat. Maybe I'll just use my gloved hand instead of the comb. It might be easier for me. Also, if you have longer hair, you need to probably make sure it's in a ponytail so that you don't get your hair into it at any in any possible way. Okay, so I did one extra piece besides the tiles because I had a little leftover resin and um, I'll post some pictures of the dried tiles when they're done. So I will be back. So these are my tiles that I tried to do the Shelly art way from uh, the course that I purchased from Shelly who's in Australia. So I have not perfected her style, but they're still pretty. And they have been resined. And this is the Famo Wood Glaze Coat Resin. So just showing the beautiful sheen on the resin. That beautiful glass-like look. And here is what I used. Thank you. So I got 35 tiles, some are pores. These are the Shelly art style that kind of look more like Dutch pores, but I love them. And some that I did in a salad spinner. But beautiful resin finish. Yay, I did it. My first resin tiles. So these will be going with me to a little table at a show. Thank you.